Hi! Do you want to be able to use CSS positioning and positioning some some like you want it to be? Here I have a making a tutorial that will help you do that. Here I have prepared a tutorial and a sample page that illustrates what you can do with this. Yeah, there's a, some text behind an image of a box. See? Simple but straightforward. Here I have another page where I have just the box and this text. We go look at the code. We can see the code for it. What we need to do is create a style sheet that will create this necessary effect. I have already prepared the code. I will put the code in the description of this video so you can just kind of copy and paste it. Go to style sheet and we can see all the code we're gonna, gonna need. This line is just the code um, made black and color gray. One element is that one, here's another, and here's the third one we are we're gonna need. The first line is the name of the, um, the position thingy and it's just this part that you should change name of it you sh should uh, let the position absolute be as it is and that we don't need and we have top and left corners in pixels of the object and this sign that uh, assigns the end of that part. This is all you need for one object. For every object you want to position as you want, you need to have one of these If you go back to the HTML file, first thing we need the, to do is uh, link the page, HTML page to the style sheet as I have done here. This line should be right below the title tags, that line. It's easier to find that way if you need to change it. Okay, to position this and this one as you want it to, you will need the following code that I'm gonna write in. Oops. Uh, wrong key. div id equals text and div. If I now save and update web page, we can now see that the sample text has changed posi posi position. Well, let's do the same thing for the box. As you can see, I ended the name text as th that one is named text. That's what I call a box. So I'm ending the code div id equals box oops and div save and update the web page now we have the same as we had before but just a different background color now to create a shadow behind a box I've already created about the shadow but uh, as is you should not create position it here div 
div uh, id box shadow emgs rc box shadow div and div I will now go and update can you see uh, that this forgotten but PNG part there we go now you can see that the shadow is above the box green box and that is wrong shadow should never be on top of another one. Create this, we are gonna just move this part top to the top of all the divs. And up, save and update. And there we go. And I'm gonna go back to the style sheet, to the text one and enter color red. Just to give the color some color. And now we can see that we have recreated the effect. And that is how you use CSS positioning. And I should mention that the order, if you want to place something below or above something else, is that uh, that item you want um, on top of everything should be at the bottom of the object you want to position above or below or items that should be below everything should be at the top like I said that shadow over above then the text and then the box And that is uh, what you have to do to create this effect. Hope you have fun and you get your web page done as you want it to be. In this method you do not have to use tables and such. It can be very hard to read code with a lot of tables in it. Anyway, have fun.